figured some of you might like to see this. Um, I'm going to give you a tour of my tool cart real quick. Um, this is the stuff I just use like every day. I mean, this is my mobile battle station was working on stuff. So, alright, so this is all the stuff I use every day. All my sockets, um, Loctites, uh, RTV, you know, just so wobble sockets, that kind of stuff. Most of them are impact. They're a little bit cheaper. I mean, these are all snap-on, 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 snap-on. Most of those are snap-on. So, you know, I, I like to spend money on them. Um, over here, all my ratchets, you know, big boy 3 8 ratchets, stuff like that. Pry bars, screwdrivers, all sorts of different picks and stuff. And we have uh, more more pry bars, indexing pry bars. These things are fantastic. I really, really recommend them to anyone. Um, hammers, files, center punches. Over here's all my wrenches. These are, you know, larger sizes, standard sizes. These things are great. Uh, their gear wrench 120 XP, you know, flex head, zero offset wrenches. They're really good for getting in tight spaces or if something's just really, really, really tight. Um, plier drawer, you know, more indexing pry bar. Plier drawer, smaller picks for getting in tighter spaces. Long reach pliers. Um, these ones are hose pliers. They're just good for when you gotta get like vacuum hoses, heater lines, stuff like that. Pinch offs, snap ring pliers. Um, these are actually for U-joint clips, but I use them for plastic clips. They work really well for that. Wire strippers. You know, God's assortment of vice grips. Um, these, which are triple adjustable slip draw pliers. They go extra large and then back to normal. And then back here, I have these and I have the larger set of these as well. And what those, they're like a combination Pipe wrench, vice grip, monkey wrench, they're great. And then down here, I have um, my torque wrench. Is, uh, you know, let me grab the light. Down here, I have my torque wrenches. I have um, small guy half inch 3 8 This is actually a 3 8 one, but it does quarter inch torque. Kinda, so keep that around. I traded subwoofers for that. Um, bushing driver. Yeah, I'll show you that. Bushing driver, just for the, I use it to beat out wheel bearing hubs and stuff like that. Um, come on. Impact driver. Um, sensor socket set. For like O2 sensors, stuff like that. Yeah. And then, you know, stud extractors and these, which are great. Rounded nuts, bolts, they're uh, biter sockets. Use them to get those off. And I have these hose clamp, hose clamp pliers for tight spaces. And then down here I have, uh, well, all my power tools. Big old death wheel with a uh, diamond steel cutting wheel. That is aggressive. I really recommend one of these to anyone doing anything. It's just, it's just nice. You can bring it with you almost anywhere. And you have air tool power, half inch impacts, quarter inch air ratchet. I also recommend one of these to anyone. Just great, great tool. Uh, smaller cutoff wheel, again, diamond cutoff wheel for getting nasty. Air hammers, stuff like that. Oops. Yeah, she's kind of full. I use, I mean, I don't, wouldn't keep it in here if I didn't use all of it. And then uh, down here, I just have my assortment of chemicals. Uh, these are axle sockets, brake stuff. Uh, that is just. O-rings, fender covers, 
Yeah. So that's my tool cart. Um, and then I have the big. Then I have the big nasty. That's my toolbox. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it in other things. And this is my uh, diag cart. So diag cart, scanners, scanners, smoke machine, uh, multimeters, power probe. Uh, power or a uh, multimeter amp clamp I bought that's for AC not DC um, GP compression tester relay bypass kit radio removal stuff relay tester random crap um, just test leads spark testers stuff like that um, back probes and down here, Mighty Vac and uh, Kyle's Kyle's power probe. In the bottom, stuff for the smoke machine, fuel injector cleaner, fuel pressure tester. And then in the big nasty toolbox, we have all my screwdrivers. These are really nice. These are actually uh, wit screwdrivers. Uh, more pry bars, uh, more vice grips, pliers, more snap ring pliers, more wrenches. Yeah, I, I like I like these zero offset wrenches. These ones don't have the flex head. Um, standard set, big old wrench, uh, just regular regular gear wrenches, and then stubby gear wrenches. Oh, and these are cool. These are for. Uh, like transmission lines and stuff, like something you'd need a, uh, yeah, they're ratcheting like closed face wrenches, really cool. Um, empty drawer that I'm sure will get filled one day, random wire and stereo stuff, and then the money shot, um, you know, more, more sockets just of every flavor. These real, real short, stubby guys. Really, really short, stubby, stubby ratchet. Um, you know, power tools I don't use anymore, air tools I don't use anymore, things that I've broken in half, stuff like that. This air ratchet, the actual knuckle duster, broken a finger using that, buffers, sawzalls, you know, that kind of stuff. And then we have more kits. This is a exhaust expanding tool, like up to gigantic size, just in case. Um, this is my big thread cert. Haven't even used it yet. Big thread cert tool. All the sizes you could possibly need. Um, and then I have this which is a universal thread chaser. So if you have like a nut or a hole or something, you have these guys. You can then wind out this little tooth in there, sharpen stuff up. This is for bolts and stuff. It has little blades on it. A good compression tester. Yeah, nice compression tester. Down here, a uh, slide hammer, retired torque wrench, box for my soles, all that I should probably throw away. Random tool catalogs I hang on. Um, down here, whoop, excuse me. Down here, uh, regulators for my welder, cheapy fuel pressure tester, ball joint press, BJP1. So, uh, BJP1 master ball joint system. Uh, coolant pressure tester and then a uh, hub puller installer. More of the same stuff. Uh, vacuum fill for coolant systems. This is the uh, clutch fan removal. That is a uh, inner tie rod tool. 
random bonus parts. Uh, saws, all my clutch alignment tools that I've saved from jobs past. Saws, ratchet straps, uh, tubing benders, files, random stuff. I, I don't actually go, oh jeez. I don't actually go into this toolbox a lot. I keep everything I really need in my tool cart. Uh, random fabrication stuff that's all gotten stolen. Jar that keeps falling. Uh, retired ratchets, stuff I really don't use. Craftsman ratchets. Replaced everything with Snap-on. These are actually pretty good. If you go to Harbor Freight, I'd buy one. I did. More of the same stuff. And down here, and and stubby gear. Stubby gear wrench. Wrench. For coolant systems. This is a uh, clutch fan removal. That is a uh, inner tie rod tool. Random bonus parts. Uh, saws. All my clutch alignment tools that I've saved from jobs past. Saws, ratchet straps, uh, tubing benders, files, random stuff. I, I don't actually go. Oh, jeez. I don't actually go into this toolbox a lot. I keep everything I really need in my tool cart. Uh, random fabrication stuff that's all gotten stolen. Jar that keeps falling. Uh, retired ratchets, stuff I really don't use. Craftsman ratchets. Replaced everything with Snap-on. These are actually pretty good. If you go to Harbor Freight, I'd buy one. I'd, I did. Um, them up here. Oh, jeez. Oh, where are you going? Okay. Up here, just junk drawers, old sockets, you know, random parts that got replaced, didn't get replaced, you know, stuff you end up with just from doing the job. Uh, uh, titles and stuff, Miata stuff, you know, random business thingies. Um, more just junk. And then extra junk. So, yeah, yeah. These, are, uh, these are my toolboxes and tool carts. Um, it's everything I kind of just have and collected over the last couple of years. Um, I like spending money on tools. I think tools are great. I mean, there's my collection of batteries for everything. Welding helmet Weld for my welder. Yeah, just stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Get back to you later. Oh, the fucking Great White North, huh? Oh, Great White Northeast. You guys will be seeing a little bit more of this soon.